What the hell am I talking about there? Um, these later generations, man, where, where do they got? Where can they go? Where There's is nowhere to go? Yeah. yeah. Nowhere. No, I juggle the four bodies and watch the collapse and take the right attitude towards the collapse of that. You know, that's, that's the challenge. And the best way to, to do it is to keep the slogan, not in my universe. That's a useful thing, because that's actually what I mean when I say, the Android meme isn't the news. The Android meme is not talking to you. It's talking to its other parts. It's not talking to you. Everybody who sits there and watches the news thinks they're being talked to. So the slogan for that would be, in regards to the Android meme, not in my universe. Is, is that a cliche? Did you ever hear anybody say that in the New Age world? Is that is that a t-shirt slogan? Not in my universe? Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure. Well, that's what I'm saying. You're only going to survive it as long as you ignore everybody else's universe and, and celebrate your own or develop it and create uh, whatever level of ecstasy you want. That's the only way to survive today. And that requires a lot of dumbing down. I mean, you know, McCool's point. There is a hidden environment that's affecting everybody, and no one notices that. And they're all involved in the affecting environment. So the artist, the scientist, creates an anti-environment to that. What is the anti-environment to information overload? Realize there's no information available! Right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 and the problem for that is not my universe. And the subject would be... You just came up with that, thing. No, no, not my universe has been around my life a little bit. Uh, I think, I think, I think Ion said it. I have not oh. said it, I've seen public. I think Ion has said it. Ion is a very interesting uh, entity coming through a medium because he, he throws out all the new age platitudes. None of them, reincarnation, none of it applies. It's totally new what Ion is saying. But let's, okay, let's go back to, you tried to convince this chemical body of the discarnate condition of this woman, and it didn't work. No, it did work. She, she, she got it. Oh. So, that. Yeah, the new thing to get is that we're not really discarnate anymore. I think you know, we're getting so tiny. This tiny part, you know, something is getting bigger in us than the media. That's why you can say you're becoming a universe, but don't just think in terms of the uh, galaxy, you know, three images of outer space. Your universe is the five bodies, and they are super small or super large, super, super all encompassing. You know, would say that's what we are now, each one of us. There is no surrounding this kind of state. It's a subset. We call it the easy body, the chip body. Yeah. But it is dominant now. And we have no way to explain, calibrate this and relate to anybody else. Okay, so let me... Uh, yeah, so where do we that. go from there? Where do we go from there? Are uh, you... Uh, Carve out your own uh, reality. No, you, you try to take, you try to connect with the other universes to the degree you want to. No pressure to do it, but you probably want more, so you don't want to get lost in yourself in the universe. So you can do it. There's nothing but you have to do, really. But um, that means, though, you don't resist against anything, so I'm here talking to you, pretending that there's a potential of overcoming the are you there syndrome. Right? right. And talking. I don't know where it leads. Yeah, I have no idea where it leads. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What the hell am I talking about there? Uh,